the 8,333rd meeting of the Security Council is called to order. The provisional agenda for this meeting is the situation in Myanmar. The agenda is adopted. In accordance with Rule 37 of the Council's Provisional Rules of Procedure, I invite the representatives of Bangladesh and Myanmar to participate in this meeting. It is so decided. In accordance with Rule 39 of the Council's Provisional Rules of Procedure, I invite the following briefers to participate in this meeting. Mr. Teganik Bwok Getu, Associate Administrator of the United Nations Development Programme, and Ms. Kate Blanchett, United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, Goodwill Ambassador. It is so decided. The Security Council will now begin its consideration of item two of the agenda. I wish to warmly welcome the Secretary General, His Excellency, Mr. Antonio Guterres, and give him the floor. Secretary General. Mr. President, distinguished delegates, I join you today with a heavy heart. I thank the uh, Secretary General for his briefing. I now give the floor to Mr. Tagag Network Getu. An average of 2,000 refugees a day are crossing over the border, and although they are being allowed to settle in these refugee camps, living in these heavily populated areas increases the risk of diseases such as cholera, caused by a lack of clean water or sanitation. The Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat in Bangladesh is working in conjunction with Humanity First to make sure that the refugees who are registered here are able to be fed properly. Behind me, you can see they're queuing up and receiving a hot meal. And today I've been told that a thousand separate meals have been prepared to distribute to the refugees here at this camp. Alhamdulillah, Humanity First Bangladesh uh, is able to respond to the call of humanity. And at the instruction of our beloved Khalifa, we approached the government and we offered three sectors, uh, medical camp, emergency medical camp, and uh, sanitation and water supply, and hot meal for the uh, incoming uh, Rohingya refugees. So government allowed us all three sectors. We started with the um, sanitation and water supply. We already working in the Kutupalong uh, camp, Rohingya camp, and now, uh, and, and then we started our medical camps also. It's running for about seven days, eight days. Now we have started today only. We started the hot meal supply in um, Shamlapur uh, Rohingya camp. After crossing the border, the Rohingya come to refugee camps such as this one here in Kutapalang. I've come to have a look at it today. There's literally thousands of makeshift tents as far as the eye can see. And although they have a safe place to stay, it's important to note that they're surviving on the most basic of rations and supplies. So this is the D5 block of the Kutapalang refugee camp here in Bangladesh. And what you can see behind me is the area that has been assigned to humanity first. We have a number of volunteers who are working here and they're working on three major projects. Firstly is to give proper sanitation and toilets. Second is access to water where they've been installing water pumps. And third is the medical camp which have just installed and made operational today, which gives basic first aid to the people who need it most.